हेलो गाइज हाउ आर यू आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल इन यूर लाइफ माई सेल्फ विक्रांत एंड आई वेलकम यू गाइज टू डेव टाउन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोन सी वॉट आर टर्नरी ऑपरेटर ऑपरेटर्स इन जावा स्क्रिप्ट हाउ टू यूज दिस टर्नरी ऑपरेटर सो इट इज़ वेरी ईजी टू यूज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एंड लेट एस सी फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हाउ टू यूज दिस टर्नरी ऑपरेटर एंड आई विल शो यू ऑल दिस विद द हेल्प ऑफ अवर ओन एडिटर वीएस कोड yes so i i am right now in my index.js file okay so what does operators do so operators calculate or operators depending on the condition they just calculate and does nothing so let's say ternary operator is something if you want to calculate some results on the basis of some condition you guess so in that play, so for that particular types of questions this ternary operators comes into picture so let us assume let's say i am writing let x is equal to and i am saying this in parenthesis i am writing if my x let's say my a is greater than 0 okay uh, for that i have to define my a i am defining a as phi so if my z uh, like a is greater than 0 then question mark i need to apply here then question mark if it is greater than 0 then i need to print simply yes okay and if my like a is not greater than 0 then simply print no so this is the very basic syntax of ternary operator that i can say so on the first line on the first case you have to just type out the condition for which you want to check or uh, try this ternary operator and followed by one question mark symbol and after that the first condition should be truth like whenever my condition is true just print out the first statement you got after the question mark and after that one colon and after that the false statement so in this case what should i will be getting in my x so let us see what does my x have if i try to run this statement then i am getting yes and it is absolutely correct because my a is greater than 0 statement is becoming true how because my a contains value 5 and 5 is greater than 0 it is definitely true statement and that's why i am getting s so how to in, like in which examples do we uh, do we need this ternary operators so as per my knowledge uh, this ternary operators is been used in react like js frameworks basically so in frameworks basically this ternary operator is most useful other than that in javascript also we are using this so no issues for that so let me uh show you with the help of one example as well so let's say if i wanted to calculate uh write a program for finding a person from india who is let's say who is eligible for driving right so what i am saying right now see what i will do i will uh, try to take one variable which contains the age of a person let's say the per, uh, person of the age age of the person sorry is 45 and what is the condition in india so the condition in india is that the age must be greater than 18 to drive any vehicle so my if if my age is greater than 18 or equal to 18 then that person is uh, basically uh, is uh, liable for driving vehicles in india so i will say this that licensed or license what can i say or if if it is not then i can say not eligible or something like this see i am saving this after running i am getting licensed because 45 is of course greater than 18 if i am writing 18 then also i should get the positive result that i should be licensed yes i am getting this proper answer and if my age is less than 18 then it should give me not eligible that i am not eligible for the license because i am not 18 years old so this is the basic uh, use case scenario of this ternary operator so with this this is said for today's videos guys and i hope you've got how to use this ternary operator and in upcoming videos we will also see how to use if else statement looping and all that things so i with that i am taking your leave i will see you in next video guys until then goodbye